2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the RBC Canadian Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Never easy going to bed with the lead. And they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I got to say, though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited and they have to like their chances going into this final round. This is an exciting one, Rich. Let's get into the action. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Oh, great shot. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. This one has eyes for the hole. Uh, a bit long on that one. Just six feet between here and the hole. Hey, that's a chance. And that's an opening hole par for this player. That's a rock solid par right there. And now that finds him in first place. Next up is this par four hole. That is right down the sprinkler line. Henny, what's the player facing here? He's got, mm, I'd say a solid 145 here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This looks to be heading to the green. Well, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be nervous playing John Rahm, but it doesn't appear that way after this approach shot. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the eighth. Oh, so close. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Going with the hybrid. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. 13 feet to the cup. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. This really looks good. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. And after that fine effort, this player currently holds top spot on the leaderboard, but Will Zalatoris is second. Here we are at the fourth hole.
Pretty good shot there. Setting up here, looking at an elevated green. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Getting ready to play their third. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. Love watching this player around the greens. A bit too much pace on that one. Putting for a bogey. And that was a bogey by our leader, so the rest of the field feeling a little opportunity here to close the gap. Let's catch up with John Rahm. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. You like that, didn't you? Around 110 yards to go. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh my, right by the hole. John, you're down there. What's happening? Hey guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 11th. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Time to tee off at the sixth. This hole can play anywhere from 170 to 200 plus there, Luke. Don't miss it right or left, though. Those bunkers are nasty. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Nice line. For the par. Now seven strokes up after that hole. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the seventh. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Beauty of a chip shot there. Such soft hands. 
Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Looks to be going with the fire vine. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. What are we looking at for this part, Henny? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. Looking good. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Putting for par. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Now a par five hole awaits. Quality shot, that one. Second shot here on the ninth hole. Going with the five wood. Looks like they're definitely going for it. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. This part of about six feet coming up. Geez, making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. John, do you have any info down there? Hey guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 15th. Playing their fifth shot. Wow, what a save. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Uh, absolutely, you dream of being in this position, ahead uh, by a bunch with just a few holes to go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Nicely done. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. This is their look at birdie. This is looking solid, what they wanted. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey, guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 16th. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. Oh, what a shot from the bunker. And after that effort, that's how it looks.
Our current leader is enjoying a seven stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the 11th. In this hole, we could call what? Serpentine, maybe, Luke? Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. However, don't get bit and leave it short right in that bunker off the tee, because you will be rattled. That's tidy. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yep, I've paced this. He's got around 195. Well, this is bold. Their eyes are opening up, headed for the green. And this player is really going after it here, Rich. Absolutely love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. A big opportunity with an eagle putt. Ooh, right by the hole. And down it goes. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Time for the second shot at the 12th. A quality shot that John give us a small update hey guys we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 18th Setting up here with a very long putt. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Par putt coming up here. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Leading by eight strokes now after that hole. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Whoa, down there, horsey. Ah, that's disappointing. Looking at the caddy, a bit too much club there. Wow, don't give him praise, just look with admiration. That's serious talent. Just a short putt remaining here. He sits in first position. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. And they're playing from about 140 yards out.
good shot there, Beamer. Let's see if we can make this big putt for Birdie. Okay, steady now. Mm, good chance, this one. Right on six feet. This is what they have left for a par. Nice stroke. That's well hold. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Well done. <laughs> oh, I love this person's confidence and courage. Driver off the deck here. Well, that's a handy shot. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? This one, guys, he's got around nine feet. Oh, yeah, this is tracking nicely. Well, that'll play. Ooh, that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Here we have it. Trying to feed off the eagle and build on that momentum here. This is the most difficult par three on the golf course by a long shot. Stanley Thompson added some bunkers to the rear of this green just to make the golfers accountable for their distance control. That's just me. An opportunity to make a par here. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, 13 footer coming up here. What a putt. Started this perfectly. Well, they say a bogey pleases someone. The rest of the field buoyed now after that drop shot by our leader. Our current leader is enjoying a six stroke advantage. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Next up is a par four, always a stern test. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Woo, back there, horsey. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. 
their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. If it's up, it could be in. And he'll be proud of that one. Good way to bounce back from the bogey at the last. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Wow. There's a lot of power in that one. Bombed. But not a bad approach, that one. Up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. And it's all come down to this. Make this putt and win the event. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Just go ahead and tap that one in. And this proud tournament has another winner to add to its list of champions. You are looking at the RBC Canadian Open winner for this year. And what a win it was on this spectacular St. George's Golf and Country Club. A win that could be life-changing for this player. Way to go. And Henny, it goes without saying that this player dominated their rival today. Oh, absolutely. They silenced the giant today. They got the job done against the odds. We shouldn't ever have doubted them. There was some spectacular golf out there, and it was a pleasure to watch. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Bean, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.